If you are using DaVinci Resolve on a Mac, you may be experiencing some gamma shift and color shift from your timeline to your export, also on your social media and YouTube uploads. So I'm gonna give you a few settings that have worked for me and hopefully will work for you. Because I hate when YouTube videos carry on for five, 10, 15 minutes when we could have had a 30 second solution, I am just gonna jump right in here and show you guys exactly what to do to hopefully fix this issue. It fixed it for me, so hopefully it fixes for you. So here we are in Resolve. First thing we are going to do is come up here to the DaVinci Resolve main menu and hit Preferences. We are going to come down to the General tab here and we are going to click Use Mac Display Color Profile for Viewers and we are going to also tick Automatically Tag Rec 709 Scene A Clips as Rec 709A. We're going to hit Save and we are going to be prompted to restart resolve for those effects to take place. So we are going to do that. All right, we are back in here now. We are gonna come down to the lower right hand side, this little cog wheel, it's project settings. We are then gonna to go to color management and by default you are probably on Rec. 709 Gamma 2.4 under your timeline color space. You wanna change that to Rec. 709A. Output color space can stay uh, same as timeline. We are gonna hit save. Before I do that though, just watch what happens to the image here when I hit save. All right, so it got a little bit brighter, a little bit less contrast, maybe a little bit less saturation. And that is why we are seeing a gamma shift from Resolve to QuickTime and YouTube and uh, Vimeo as well. So that should fix it for you. So now you are seeing what you are going to see when you export your video. One other setting you want to make sure on your export here is come down to the advanced settings. All right, and you want to make sure your color space tag is Rec. 709 and gamma tag is Rec. 709A. All these settings combined have fixed the problem for me. I know that sometimes all of these settings kind of don't work for everybody across the board, which is a little bit weird. So another thing you can try if this isn't working for you is leave your color space tag, same as project, gamma tag, same as project, and hopefully that does it for you. I also leave my data levels on video. I don't leave it to auto or full. Um, and this seems to be working for me. Again, you might need to mess around with one of these three settings, either video or full, and do your own testing and make sure the image that you get after render is the same as what you were seeing in Resolve. Hopefully that fixes all your gamma shift issues. Like I mentioned before though, I know that these settings aren't really working across the board for everybody. So if you're doing something different, you found some other settings that are working for you, uh, let us know in the comments so we can all kind of fix this issue uh, together because it is annoying. So if that did help you out, maybe leave a like, subscribe, on the way out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.